Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Uh, in a couple of words, I would like to talk about what is Unizor and uh, what's the purpose of this. Basically, two questions I would like to address. Why you need it and how it works. Well, let's start with why you need it. Um, I would probably s start with certain criticism of uh, many of existing educational systems. Um, on one of the blogs which, uh, which I participate, um, somebody wrote an extremely precise characteristic of uh, educational system which many schools are utilizing. It's mile wide and inch deep. It means that lots and lots of materials are covered, topics of mathematics. However, people do not really spend any time going any deeper into each topic. They just learn the facts. Now, facts are an interesting thing, of course, um, but uh, if you think about what exactly will be used in the real life, well, not too many. I mean, I was working for a very long time as a computer specialist, a financial uh, specialist, I don't remember a case when I had to like solve quadratic equation or uh, use properties of uh, right triangles or Pythagorean theorems, etc. So it's not practical, right? At least for most people. And students really feel that this, these topics which they are taught in school are not really that practical. And they lose interest basically. So the usefulness of putting so many different facts into a student's head is really, really very limited. What I believe is significantly more important is to use mathematics as a tool to develop mind. People go to gym and they pull weights and they uh, use tracks or springs or whatever else they're using, all these tools, it's completely unrelated to their practical life. However, they use these tools to develop their muscles, stamina, health, whatever. Now, in case of mathematics, this is probably the most perfect tool to develop your mind. Uh, your logic, your analytical abilities, your creativity, by the way, creativity is extremely important because math is completely artificial. Math is an ultimate form of art, that's how I feel. It. Because everything is done, well, basically, uh, the actor on the scene or, or a sculptor, they are creating the objects. Math is all creation of the minds of different people. So. Mathematics, mathematics is needed as a tool to develop your mind. And how can you do it using the mathematics? Well, if it's just a bunch of facts, then you memorize them and then you forget them and that's, it. that's basically it. Mind is not developed this way. Now, the mathematics can develop your mind only in case you prove the theorems, you solve the equations, you solve the problems. There are so many numerous problems um, in, in mathematics. It's just unbelievable. There is no other subject which will challenge your mind as much as mathematics. So mind developing is the most important. And Unizor.com is the site where uh, I devote as much attention to problem solving uh, as, as possible. So there is educational, theoretical material and, and certain number of facts as well. But these are necessary as an introduction of certain concepts and language used in the problems to state the problem and to explain the solution. Actually, my initial purpose was, uh, initial plan for Unizor was just to to give the bunch of problems, their solutions, and cer certain number of problems for self-study. But then I just realized that without theoretical material, I can't really 
talk about these problems. So there is theory and there are some facts on this side, but this is not the most important. The most important is the problems, their solutions, exams, etc. So that's how, that's why you need it. Um, by the way, I don't know any other side which um, in, in, in a very complete and concise form presents all the magnitude of problem-solving um, uh, part of the mathematics. So I think it's a very useful thing and I hope people will use it as a tool to develop their minds. That's the purpose. That's the goal. That's why you need it. Now, how it works. A couple of words about how it works. Well, obviously, anybody can just go to the site and on the left there is a menu of certain items which you can learn. Um, just, you know, go one by one. If you are such a self-disciplined person, you can go through theoretical, uh, theoretical uh, uh, lectures and uh, uh, then go to problem-solving lectures, etc. You will not be able to uh, to take exams, for instance, but, you know, that's okay. Now, if you are registered, then there are three different categories of users who can register. Well, obviously, the first category is a student. That's the person who will actually learn something and take exam. Then there is a category of uh, the person who I conditionally call a parent or a supervisor. This is the person uh, who basically control the educational process. So if he is registered as a parent or a supervisor of a student, then he can um, enroll that student into a specific uh, topic, um, take a look at the exam, how the student actually scored on the exam, uh, and uh, uh, mark the course as completed, uh, and, and then enroll into the next course. So basically you're controlling, if you're a parent or a supervisor, you're controlling the educational process of, of a student. And finally, there is a category of a teacher, which uh, in this particular case means a provider of educational material. Teachers using Qdisor.com are not really teach, because students are basically taught they learn from the website, but teachers can uh, supply more educational material, which can be incorporated into the site uh, after proper authorization, etc. Et and also, there is another um, important role the teacher can uh, the teacher can play. Um, teacher can be the person the parent delegate the supervisory controlling function. So if the parent doesn't want to do this. Uh, then he can delegate it to a teacher, and the teacher basically can enroll a student into a specific course, or a group of students. Uh, and that brings me to a concept of a flipped classroom, which gains popularity right now. Uh, in a flipped classroom, teacher performs more supervisory functions and less teaching functions. Um, supervisory function is basically, okay, learn this, learn this, learn that, basically giving students um, assignments of uh, what to learn in the form of enrolling them into specific uh, classes. And then they can take a look at the score. Um, they can actually explain certain things maybe a little better than I explained it on the web, uh, if, if, they, if they want to or capable to. Um, and then, again, uh, all these supervisory functions, like uh, checking the score on exams, etc. So these are three categories of users, uh, students, parents or supervisors, and teachers, providers of educational material. So they register as such, and then students will just take a look at whatever uh, they are assigned to do, whatever they are enrolled by their parents or supervisors or teachers who are delegated these functions. They learn the material, they go, they, they go through uh, uh, theoretical material, through um, problem-solving material, take exam on that particular course, and basically then it's up to a supervisor to basically consider this as uh, completed and uh, go to the next topic. Um, so basically that's how it works. Um, 
the website probably will never be completed. Um, it, it's such a huge uh, area and the number of problems which can be solved is really, really huge. So I put as much as I can. Right now, um, at the moment I'm explaining uh, this particular uh, concepts of how it works. Uh, I would say the geometry is in a good shape, almost ready. Um, algebra is probably addressed uh, like 50%. And there are trigonometry, there are vectors, there are other topics which I would like to address. And I will uh, put more material into more contents into this website. But for, for now, basically I wanted just to explain how the whole thing is working, why do you need it and how it works. And uh, welcome to Unisor Education.